Hey, this is Ish. Adobe Premiere Elements in 2022 has finally added the ability to edit and export your videos in vertical or square aspect ratios to post to your social media accounts like Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, or Snapchat. Previous versions of Premiere Elements prior to 2022 only came with standard horizontal ratios for television and computer monitors. If you're already running an older version of Premiere Elements in the description and at the end of this video, I'll place a link to a video on how to add the vertical aspect ratio to an older version of Premiere Elements. I upgraded from 2020 to 2022 just to take advantage of having these aspect ratios built into Premiere Elements. It cost me $85 US dollars with taxes to upgrade. Right now though, I'm going to show you how to use the feature in Premiere Elements 2022. Let's get to it. I'm in Premiere Elements 2022 Expert Mode. Right now, I'm going to show you two different ways that you can set the aspect ratio in Premiere Elements. The first thing you can do, I've already loaded media here in my project assets. So this is a square video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the video and I'm going to drag it down to the video one timeline. Premiere Elements is automatically going to set the project settings to be a square video. In previous versions of Premiere Elements, if you were to drag a square video, it would just put it onto a horizontal project. Whatever is the first video that you load into Premiere Elements, that's what the ratio is going to be set to. So for example, I'm going to do undo. So now instead of setting in a square video, I'm going to do a vertical video. I'm going to drag that down. There you go. That's a vertical video that Premiere is going to set it to. So that would be what you could use for Instagram, Snapchat, your stories. Square usually would go for an Instagram post. Bring the square video back in. They've made it. So the square video is now going to conform to the project settings, which is a vertical aspect ratio. Let me show you the second way that you can set the aspect ratio in Premiere Elements. For the second way, I'm going to go to File. I'm going to go to New, and I'm going to go to Project. I'm not, I'm not going to save the changes here. If you're familiar with the older version of Premiere Elements, this is completely changed. Right here, they make it simple for the user. They got Landscape, Portrait, Square, and social. And if you were to drop down the social, you'll see the different um, social media, Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, Vimo, and YouTube. Other social media, for example, TikTok and Snapchat, they use the same settings as a Facebook story, which would be 1080 by 1920. If you don't select this for selected project, so even though you selected social, if that box is not selected and you drag in, for example, landscape video, it's going to change it to landscape. But if you have for selected project, no matter what video you drag to the timeline, it's going to keep the settings that you selected. And if you're familiar with the older versions of Premiere Elements, if I select more, view all presets, then you're familiar with this dialog window. And in there they have the original landscape settings. So you have the 16 by nine, four by three, and then they have portrait. You got four by five, nine by 16. They have the details right there as far as frame rate. So if you want to go and use, for example, 60 FPS, um, 23.97, 24, they have those different frame rates depending on your location or your country. And then social is for social media. They're pretty much all going to be that 29.97 FPS, which matches what the social media is using now. And square, they give you some different options as far as FPS. Now, got this vertical video in here. Premiere Elements, how do I export it? You go to export and share. It gives you right there. It can export it, name everything to match what the project is set to. So now you're able to export it. Just click save. You can be able to use, for example, Dropbox, maybe Google, maybe Apple Share. Send it to your phone so you can upload it to your Instagram, Facebook, or your Snapchat. They've really streamlined this whole process to support social media. And in 2022, everyone's posting. Everybody wants to be able to create content. And this now gives you another tool, Premiere Elements, made it easier for you. So if you're currently using Premiere Elements, comment below if you plan to upgrade for these features to 2022. As I mentioned earlier, if you want to add the feature to an older version of Premiere, check out the video on the screen. And if you got value out of this video, make sure you click the like button and subscribe for my content. My name is Ish, and I challenge you to go out there and have a new experience today. Thanks for watching.